now, thanks to a human resources complaint from my producer, I am not supposed to talk about tasty black buns right here on the show. So to start off, maybe I'll just talk about some tasty red buns and also perhaps some, uh, some hot cans. Hot cans. <laughs> Hey there, feeders, it's me, Noah Galoo. Now, Burger King Japan uh, has had a few different iterations of their black bun burgers. You had the uh, Ninja Burger, and then also the Kuro Burger, which has uh, black buns as well as black cheese. Well, I guess they're not sick of this whole stunt yet, because they're coming out with more black bun burgers in addition to, this is the new one, red bun burgers, in case you wanted your poop color to be different than it was from the black ones. All right, now these burgers launched on July 3rd, and there's a few different options. You've got your uh, Aka Samurai beef, which has a red bun, red cheese, onion, and something called Angry Sauce, which is basically just a miso hot sauce with togarashi chili peppers and tobanjan chilies. Uh, but for most of us, Angry Sauce, of course, just means gin. Now the Aka Samurai chicken is basically the same thing as the beef one, except uh, it's got chicken instead of beef. I don't know how you can figure that one out. Uh, but also, it's got lettuce and tomato instead of onion, and it might even have mayonnaise on it based on the press photo, but frankly, I don't really care because I'm talking about a f***ing chicken sandwich in Japan right now made by f***ing Burger King. Now, Aka means red in Japanese, which explains where they get the name from. Now, where do they get the bright red color? Well, let me learn you something about that. Uh, they use uh, tomato powder. Now, these things are only going to be around until August, because on August 21st, they're coming back out with the Kuro Black Burger, but this time with different toppings so I should probably explain those now. All right, there's the Kuro Shogun, uh, which is a black hash sauce made of red wine, squid ink, onions, tomatoes, and garlic. Also has grilled eggplant, as well as the uh, black cheese, which we talked about earlier. Now, instead of a chicken option, this time they're doing another burger called the Kuro Taisho, which has got the uh, hash brown on it, along with that same black hash sauce, and the aforementioned black cheese. Now, the black burgers are around till early October, as are these uh, hand pies they're making, which have the same disturbing black and red colors as the buns. Now the red pie is cherry and uses cherry powder to make the crust red colored, uh, which sounds like a better option to use cherry powder than say the tomato powder from the buns, because that would probably be a little disgusting, but quite frankly, I'm pretty sure that the whole thing's disgusting anyway. Now the black pie is a salted caramel pear pie and it gets its black color from the bamboo charcoal that we also use to get your black buns. Now, basically, here's the thing, uh, bamboo charcoal, tomato powder, cherry powder, I don't think any of those things are strong enough to uh, mask the flavor of what is still inevitably f***ing Burger King. All you feeders out there in Japan, let us know if you've managed to try one of these things. Drop us a line in the comments section. Did you try the Kuro? Did you try the Aka? Did you try the Ninja? What did you think? Did you survive? How bad was it? Let us know. That's it for us today, guys. I'm Noah Galoon. Subscribe to Tasty to find out which colors of poop I think are the weirdest.